go. But most of the most of the time, it's theaters. Some we've packed out, you know, twelve, fifteen hundred seat theaters. Um, when we went to America last year, it was wild. Um, you know, we were playing in thousand plus seat theaters, so it was just right. uh, incredible. Yeah. Now here we go. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, when you uh, as a hey mate, you, you're a bloke. I'm yep. like, we all know when you're walking around the street. This is, like, this is for any ladies that are listening. They may not understand <laughs> how the uh, I'm going to say it, doodle works. Yep. <laughs> you, you walk around in protection mode. Actually, I read that from the singer of Red Hot Chili Peppers. He put it in okay. his book that one time he got, was uh, jumped into the crowd and they stripped all his clo- the crowd stripped all his clothes off him and he oh was gosh. kind of like. I was in protection How mode. How terrible. Yeah, but it's like... To just have an audience strip your clothes off. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, it's your tough own being crowd wanted, too. being a red hot chili pepper. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I, I always remember that you're in protection mode. Yep. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a certain time where your mind flips to, we need to send some blood down there. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you know? my gosh. So This is a topic. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, when glad you, you, I'm glad we built into this today. <laughs> and this wasn't the opening question. So you want to know about what time happens going, when they've got the oh, aircon? Okay, yeah. it's getting the end of the show, yeah. Well, they, come on, can we turn the aircon up? We do have a request. The aircon's not on too high, yeah? Uh, we want, or do we you want go around and go on? It, it's know. much better doing the shows in summer months. You've got a few old the picture magazines shorter. out yeah. the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing like that. Actually, the, the funny, the, the weird thing is we're actually not allowed, not that we would anyway because we're so focused on the show, but we're not allowed to be hard on stage because then it becomes like a sexual yeah. – like a sex show, basically, and it's totally different. So at the moment, we're an art, you know, we're a theatre show. We come under art, and um, so yeah, we can't. But we never would anyway. I've never felt. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you wouldn't. It wouldn't be a so natural instinct, like to. I'm going to get boner in front of a thousand yeah. people. You wouldn't. Yeah. You're in protection mode. You're. Uh... You, the the audience are like, uh, you know, when they they get rolled up, they've had a few drinks. They're like a bull that you need to manage, you need to hold down, or you need, you know. To move or maneuver with, so um, you know, occasionally you get people calling out stuff, or you know, show us your penis, get your cock out, you know, quite early in the show, and you're like, look, you, you know, hey, go with us on this. We're doing some magic. We yeah. make you laugh, and we build into it, you know. Um, so you you really need to uh, to to manage the audience, and you're always thinking about the the lines that are coming up, you know, because it's a structured show, you know, we design it together, and there's we know what's coming up next, so. We need to keep an eye on that. We need to know what we're doing with the tricks. We need to, you know, manage what we're saying with each other on stage. So there's so much going on when you're on stage. You're never, you're never thinking about getting turned on, you know. Yeah. Um, but we hope the audience is. Right. <laughs> we hope they're the only ones getting turned on. We're the only ones that get naked in the show too. We, we, never, uh, we never ask any audience members to get naked or anything like that. So sometimes people are, oh, I'm scared about going along. Are they going to make it? Or I'm scared about going on stage. Are they going to get – me to get naked, nothing like that. We're the only ones getting naked. So, Man. so when's this next show? And uh, and where are you going after this? Because I, I did look up on Facebook. Yeah, you met Poe in the street. The uh, chef, yeah, master chef, she gave you some pasta. I would to me. kill for that. You yeah. know, like, she came up to me and gave gave me. She she just literally walked up to me, and it was um at the Adelaide Fringe, like Fringe Ground sort of thing. So there was artists around and people there seeing shows, and she literally just walked up and said, "Are you hungry?" And I looked down to check what I was wearing. I'm thinking, do I look, do I look homeless? What's going on here? She's like, we, we cook too much paella. So would you want some? I said, like, yeah, great. And I was like, beautiful. So I actually, I, as she walked up, I said, thanks for the paella. Um, <laughs> can I get a podo with you? No. Um, so the, the comedy's way better in the show. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was kind of weird. But um, yeah. she was she was lovely and, and that. Yeah. So, um, But you're about to Oh, yeah, well, take with off, the show. Then. We just uh, – so, yeah, last year we did about 30 cities in Australia. We did, we did New Zealand. I uh, headlined the New Zealand International Comedy Festival over there in Auckland. We did Christchurch. Went to Hong Kong. Uh, we did three weeks in America just as a test run um, for, you know, plans coming up uh, this year. So we, And shows there, you actually – Yeah, we, we've had a lot of amazing offers from overseas. Right. Um, we can't confirm too much yet as to what's happening, but um, we have. But yeah, stay tuned. Basically, yeah. have a look on our website, thenakedmagicians.com.au, Jeez, or I, our I, Facebook I, um, yeah. for, for upcoming announcements. But um, yeah, well, so we just finished in Adelaide. We've got uh, Gold Coast shows this Friday, twenty sixth of Feb. So we have back to back shows there. The first one's almost sold out. Uh, second one, the nine thirty session, still got some tickets available. 
So that will be amazing. Uh, and then we head to Alice Springs, believe it or not, the Red Centre, where it's nice and warm, so a bit longer show there. Um, and then we come back for about a month off here in Brisbane just to recharge before heading overseas. Wow. Yeah. So the, the, the yeah. plan is, yes, yeah, several countries this year. So no doubt, um, you know, that, that name, that your show is now something you need to, you know, by law, like you can't have a bunch of Americans running off with this great idea. Yeah, you know, yeah. We, we have to protect um, yeah. what we've created and, uh, you know. With that. Can you believe you're the first? You know what I'm saying? Like you, Yeah, it's nuts. You're on it. it. Yeah. You, you've done it, you know, without – I swear, I'll I'll be looking at your. Uh, I just know I can see by looking across yep. from you. There's that guy. Look at look how look how look how far he's come. Great look concept, how far he's you know. Yeah. But it's not just luck. It's yeah. it's all good things lining up. Everything from your swimming, everything, you know. Obviously, Christopher's a great great guy who can yeah. who you can work with, and Sam, you know, it's yeah. Uh, he's, nothing's is nothing's luck in this. It's yeah, it's a perfect team of up. us working together. We each have our own strengths in that. Chris is just you know a hilarious guy. He probably had more input than maybe the other uh, the other other two of us um, with you know in terms of the one liners and the script of the show. Um, you know he's been working hard to get fit, so it's so hard to find you know people because we thought you know when we started we're like well who else could try to you know rip off this show? Who else could do it? And I'm like well there's not there's not really any other talented magicians that um, could do it. You know the, that would be that would look good naked, that would be willing to take the risk with their career and go do something like this, or that are funny enough to to do a show like the Naked Magicians. But who would have thought that you know someone hadn't come up with a concept like this before? There's always you know there has been in the past um, a, a few performers that have you know dabbled with a, a small amount of nudity or something with the show there was um there was actually a female um performer not so much a magician more a burlesque performer and does does a bit of comedy as well um, called Ursula Martinez and uh she has, she's got a great clip online where she um she starts clothed and it's just one it's basically just one um, act that she does and then she does all this other stuff, clothes and burlesque stuff. But one, I guess it does count as magic because she has a handkerchief and she makes it disappear. And she starts clothes, she makes it disappear into her fist and then, you know, it comes out of her mouth or whatever and then it makes it disappear again. And she's slowly revealing, like taking off clothes as she goes and then she pulls it out of her bra and then she pulls it out of her panties and that. And then, you know, she gets fully naked, like everything off, underwear and everything. And then you can kind of imagine where she pulls Handkerchief from the last time, you know, and it's such a such a great act, and and um, you yeah, know that's been oh, I don't know she's been doing that for years, you know. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, you have. Yeah, but I guess it's the same as you guys. It she can pull off. She has this face like yeah. she's not crass. Yeah, it's she. You just want to love her. Like yeah. I cannot believe she's, she's very beautiful. Like stage, she's got this yeah. great body. Like yeah. is she really doing this? Like. I'm sure yeah. everyone could really try and do that, but they can't. You know, yeah. it's, everything's got to line up. She's good. got a stage presence. She's got yeah. you know the the history of working as a stage performer, burlesque, yeah. all that. Handle so she, yourself that's off stage in a certain manner too yeah. to get through that uh, stuff. Yeah. So we actually the blow up doll that I mentioned that we use as a, as an assistant on stage. We do a we do an amazing magic trick with her. Um, the blow up doll that is. We we've actually named her Ursula in uh, ah. yeah, yeah after Ursula Martinez. So yeah, you should contact her. Um, yeah, we've, that, yeah you know? we've met her before. Have we've met her, yeah, we, we met her once we started the show, and um, we met her. Uh, we met her partner in Hong Kong. They were in a show called La Soiree, which is great, and it's going around the world. And and so you know, we had a bit of a chat to her then. So. Imagine all the predictable jokes she's heard. The she would have heard it all. Same yeah, yeah. over and over. Absolutely. All oh, the, well, price you pay. Yeah, yeah. Price you pay for I don't know. For getting naked. Yep. But that, I, there's a common uh, YouTube clip of which you guys are going to have one day soon. You know, so, you're, where she was, I think it was uh, the, uh, is it Monterey Comedy Festival? Is it? Oh, yeah. Montreal? Yeah, is it? Right. Well, there's, you know, double layer theatre, yep. thousands of people. That's where I saw that clip of that. that oh, magic right. Video. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, no doubt yeah. along the line. We, yeah. yeah, there'll be well, calls for you to do it for well, something, you know. Yeah, I mean, without giving too much away, we have um, theatres with uh, with a capacity of uh, like three thousand seats and more that are booked coming up. So can't give too much <laughs> away. Can't give too much away, but um, yeah, but stay tuned will. in the next few weeks. So it's going to be happening this year. We're super excited for it. So, All right. yeah. Well, I want to ask you, but I don't want to throw away the show. But what about manscaping? 
<laughs> Trim it up down there. Mate, you got to. Yeah, it gives me an extra inch on stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so mate, well, it's not just like exercising and making sure we're in good shape, but also you want to you make sure there's something good to, yeah, to look at for the audience. When we, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be – it's not a 70s porno. So, um, yeah, you gotta you got to keep everything in check. I'm a little hairier than Chris, so um, <laughs> i got a bit more work to do there and keep it in check. But, um, yeah, of course. Of course you've got to manscape. All right. Mate, put it there. I think I've asked you everything I can. Thanks so much, Drew. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think so. Um, uh, so, where, where's this? Where's the venue on the coast? Oh, so it's at the Gold Coast Art Centre, February twenty sixth. There's a seven pm and a nine thirty pm show. There's right. um, regular standard tickets, and also there's uh, VIP tickets, which include the the meet and greet, and you get a signed poster and a, and a photo and stuff with us after the show. So it's going to be a wild night. Yeah. So yeah, any the show's for everyone. That uh, as long as you're over eighteen, over eighteen, and you've got that you know naughty cheeky side to you, we kind of like to think that in the show we um, we grab that naughty you know jar the jar of naughtiness. Let's say that's inside everyone. We grab and we shake it up and literally open it out in the audience. So if you've got that sort of cheeky side to you, it's definitely a great show for you. And uh, yeah, come along and have a great girls' night out. And what about um, your website, your, your social media? Yeah, it's all. Do you handle that, all that yourself? Or? Yeah, yeah. So that's um, primarily Sam's job as a producer, but we also have access to it. So when, when messages come through, that's sort of one of the three of us all will reply and, and right. yeah, keep on that. So it's all The Naked Magicians on Twitter, Facebook, and thenakedmagicians.com.au is our website. And on the website has all the links to the social medias so you can – Look us up there if you want to tell us about the show or ask us some questions or whatever. Hey, so from um, being in Northside Brisbane, I, yeah. I went to Rochdale High School, by the oh, way. Oh, right. Okay. So it's south side, south side of Brisbane, yeah. yeah. I live so, on the south side. You do, yeah? Yeah. I'm over, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, did you go to the Gold Coast much? Do I go to the Gold yeah, Coast? Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're on the north side, you tend to edge toward yeah. uh, Sunshine Coast. Gold Coast is, yeah, definitely prep. Like if I'm going to do it. Beach day, it'll be yeah. the Gold Coast for uh-huh. sure, yeah. And I'm down here all the time for corporate events and stuff, yeah. you know, if I'm not doing Naked Magicians and so, yeah, I'm always yeah. down here. Yeah. I, I worked a little bit for Ben Bradshaw. Oh, yeah, I know Ben. You know ben? Yeah, 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 yeah. Great guy, hey? He's, so, he's such a nice guy. Yeah, we, really we got is. quite close. I was his backstage manager for this oh my other theatre restaurant for a little while. I wow. think it was like three months. Yeah. But – um. And then, Have you had him in for a podcast? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. But he, well, he's quite successful with his um, he's, he's got um, sponsored, sponsored links. links. Yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Titan have used by? Oh, true. Which there I didn't go. even realise until after that. Yeah, that's Ben's biz, you know, and he keeps popping up on. He on actually TV. had a world record for fastest straitjacket escape yeah. on stage. That's yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which we we actually do in the show. We have a straitjacket escape, and we we do a bit of a cheeky naughty version of it, where one of us escapes from a um, <clears throat> a gay jacket. And it's basically a straight jacket that's glammed up with rainbows and all that sort of stuff because we do want the show to 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 welcome um, the you know LGBT um, you know right. society. So um, yeah, it's it's very gay friendly. It welcomes yeah, right. gay guys and lesbians and excellent. So if there um, could be any place um, mm-hmm. that you could take this show, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I always Where think would, of you because I. I'm just thinking, uh, you know, I love the comedy. Um, yeah, there are these big, like Edinburgh. Comedy festivals. Yeah. Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Yeah. I think maybe maybe a lot of people would, would want to think you're in that in that zone and you do this great magic show, you know what yep. I'm saying? So is there a great one that you've got your eye on that you – We want to do Edinburgh. We want to do Edinburgh this year. Um, so that's, you know, in the works. You've been there before. We haven't. No, we've done Adelaide Fringe Festival. We just came back from that was a third yeah. run. So that was one of our first shows we did in 2014. First run just after Brisbane Comedy Festival went straight to Adelaide. We sold out shows there. And we weren't going to go back this year, but they, you know, they encouraged us to come back and made it, you know, worth our while. So we went back for a third season. It was actually our fourth time we've been performing at Adelaide. So Adelaide Fringe is the second biggest fringe festival in the world behind Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Um, so yeah, we'd love to get over to Edinburgh this year, um, and it's hopefully on the cards. But we'll see what happens there. But we'd love to. Um, I'd love to be. I'd love to be in New York. Love to play the show in New York one day. Um, possibly Vegas one day. Um, those three are probably the big ones we'd like to go to. Yeah. Sky's the limit, man. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Put it there once again. Thanks so much, Drew. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having and, me on. Uh, and. Um, 
Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to Koala Kama, the chill-out drink, for bringing us this episode. You know what just happened? Mike Todd.